Welcome back to Long Box Diving, where we explore comics and story arcs pulled from the Long Box. And I am D. This is J. That is E. When we are, we, the cuties. So we are here to discuss uh, comic book news. We've got a big stack of comics to review that, that we picked well, up. No, not, not really review. <laughs> well, it's not review. It's kind of go through our comic haul. Um, <laughs> we still have lots of comics to go through. And it's going to be, for the most part, a Spider-Man night. So hopefully you guys like Spider-Man because uh, we got a lot of Spider-Man to go over. Spider-Man. That's all I can say. <laughs> um. So while we're at it, let's start it off with uh, the thing we're all interested in, Mandalorian Episode 5. Did yeah, you watch it yet? Yes, I did. What did you think? Um, I thought it was a pretty straightforward episode. I, I liked it. Um, again, I have a, like a good suspicion that they're just introducing characters for us to see for the final A lot battle. of new sporting cast. Um, and that's really all, all they're doing. And pretty straightforward episode. Yes, it will, and you. I didn't see it, but I read the news about it. <clears throat> and that is our sixteen-year-old. This is how Someone he was hogging the TV. This is handle all his reviews. He doesn't know how to watch Disney Plus on his phone. It's too new. I because don't know how to do it. Won't let me sign in because you only have three. All right, so I have five, but I won't let you have any. You have five now. Hush, hush. So, um, yes, it was a great, great episode, in my opinion. I enjoyed it. We, um, it. we had a punk, um, which reminds me of him a little bit. We had a great assassin um, who is not dead. I guarantee. We you. don't think she's dead, um, but but she might be dead. And it, but she didn't magically escape from the yeah. handcuffs. She didn't, you know, defeat two men in single hand combat. None of that stuff. It was just straight up. Th- you know, it was a good episode. Um, Baby Yoda was awesome in this episode again. Um, just, you know, just as normal being a baby and he didn't do anything else. Um, so that was great. So let's get on to some comic, uh, comic hall. And then we've got some other topics to cover. Yeah. <clears throat> um, surprisingly, we have some, a lot of movie topics and some new comic topics that we want to yeah. cover to, today as it's, well. It's the movie season. Hey Rod, how you doing, man? Um, it is the movie season. So, here we go. The Amazing Spider-Man, number 398. Apparently, he's fighting Doc Ock. Let me get rid of this. Yeah, uh, I didn't want. I didn't want to say it, Rod. But you know, I watched your Coast to Coast show, and man, it looks like you need a nap. <laughs> um, I didn't want to say it there in the stream. I didn't want to embarrass you or anything. But, dude, you need to take a nap. Maybe have some more chicken wings. But uh, I'm glad you're here. So, Amazing Spider-Man fighting Doc Ock. That's always good. You know, one day I, I just want to do, like, a series where we literally just judge the books by their covers. That's what we're doing. This is kind of what the series is. This yeah. series right here is uh, judge a book by its cover. That's kind of exactly what we're doing. Well, that's what we're going to call it now. Uh, we do news, too. So, all right. Sometimes. I would want to... Oh, well, you probably... The uh, Amazing <laughs> Spider-Man 414. Oh, yeah, no, Spider-Man, that. Spider-Man versus good. Delilah. Hey there. No, don't don't sing it. Get copyright struck. Look at his spider senses are tingling, but he still hasn't turned around. It's just not as fast as he used to be. Spider-Man. Slow. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, I took I took a nap before this. I'm, I came home from church and I'm like, uh, I'm gonna take a nap. Wake me up before the stream. Amazing Spider-Man number twenty-eight. Carnage is back. Uh, that is Carnage. Look at that. Carnage is back. No. Oh, that cover's okay. I don't know. So, <laughs> so this one's interesting. It's In case you didn't know, that was Peter Parker. They pointed out for you. Yeah, so this is Ben Riley. It's just the whole. All right, so Amazing Spider Man number two. 
in case the art can't tell you. If this is Spider Man and that Scorcher, who is that? Apparently, it's Peter Parker. I don't. That, okay. But Burn is doing the art? Cool. Man, 90s, early 2000s. So we have the. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man, Spider-Verse, Part 1. So this is Issue 9. Um, this is that cool Indian kind of cover Everything where they do like uh, the Shiva-type cover. I can see it. I'm, this this cover is awesome. I'm, actually, I'm down with this This cover. one? Yeah. All right. Now, this one's pretty cool. Look at Spider-Man's hands. Look at them claws. So, uh, The Amazing Spider-Man, Spider-Verse number two, uh, issue 10. Yeah, Oliver Koppel does a it does a pretty good job. I like his stuff. Um, Amazing Spider-Man, Spider-Verse, uh, issue 13 and part five. When did they release these, just out of curiosity? Take a look. Yeah, let's find out. Because it would have been really smart for them to do it with uh, uh, the Spider Verse movie. So we have, you know, Gwen Spider Spider Ham on there. We have uh, the Girl Spider, oh, Punk Rock Spider. There's Miles Morales. <clears throat> the Steampunk Spider. Just a Reek in No Hats. Not today. Uh, no Top Hats. January 2015. All right, so Amazing Spider-Man number Spider fourteen, part six. We have more Spider Verse. He's got a bunch of spider. A lot of things going on on that cover. Just, just blended in there. Just we have the British Spider-Man, Spider Woman, Spider Girl, Pork Spider, Spider Gundam, Miles, Miles Morales, spider, uh, Punk Rock Spider. spider. A lot of Spider Man's. Right. You have a, a a steam powered spider in the top top left corner. And conversely, yep. uh, yeah, sort of. Well, it's a Spider Gundam. Oh. <coughs> All right, so here's Marvel Knight Spider Man. Um, Not issue, a lot going on in this comic. Cover. Issue three. I don't even know what this is about. It's three of five, so and maybe in a short. Right in the middle. So I don't remember what I don't I haven't read this one, so I have no idea what this is about. I don't know who the writer is. I don't remember his I don't recognize this name. Um Matt Kennedy. But it kind of looks like Spider Man has his face ripped off and he's falling into the darkness. How do you so, even pronounce the last name? Kent Kent Kent. Kent. All right, so Spider Man. Issue 16, a Todd McFarlane cover. The X-Horse joined Spider-Man. X-Horse, and these are all drawn <laughs> this way. I hated this. I really did. All right, Rod, we'll see you later, man. Thanks for coming. Have a good one. I, I hated this. I hated the thing going sideways like this. I hated having to read a comic like a calendar. <laughs> Wait, the entire inside's like the that? The entire inside's no. like that. Hey, Gray Man, how you doing? Yeah, they, they, and they did it multiple <laughs> ones where you had it. It was like so irritating. It was like, I don't want to read a calendar. I want to read a comic book. May. Comic book, not comic book. All right. Oh. Uh, um, what if February was Web, sp Web Spinners <laughs> tells a Spider-Man number three. <laughs> uh, Mysterio and his teddy bear. Oh. Mysterio has a teddy bear. And this is a good. Eyes. This is a good night story. Good night. All right. Superior Spider-Man team up. Now, do you guys know who Superior Spider-Man was? Spider-Man superior to the others. Yes, he was, because he was. Your turn. I already answered the first one. <laughs> well, with a non-answer. Um, what do you think he was? He was Peter Parker's body with Octavio Professor Octopus's brain warped into Peter Par Parker's body. In fact, this comes into play later when Peter Piker, Peter Piker, Peter, Peter Parker, Parker has his college degree revoked 
because it was found to be plagiarism of Octavio his work. He was like, but at the time, Octavius was in my brain. So technically, I didn't plagiarize it. It was my work because at the time, I was Dr. Octopus. Te technically. Uh, yes. The Return of the Spider-Man. Her name is Poison. Uh, John Romano Jr. Uh, John Romano Jr., number 64. That's a cool-looking cover. And you could tell it's a remediated cover. The Return of Spider-Man, number 64. I, I can't tell if it's... Her name is Poison. I can't tell if it's an upshot or a downshot. That is a... It's like this. This is the shot right there. All right. Um, the Sensational Spider-Man. Fighting over Egyptian artifacts. Fighting with a girl. Again. All right. He fights a lot of girls. Who appears to be 15. What? Uh, it's just not wearing the right clothes for a 15 year old. Uh, yeah. That's my opinion, personal opinion <laughs> statement. All right. The Sensational Spider Man uh, featuring Kazar. Kazar. And guest star in The Incredible Hulk. Yay. All right. So, the Sensational Spider Man. It's weird to think about that in the 90s, Spider-Man became really big because of the TV show yeah. again. Um, and then it, they were doing the crossovers like this again with Spider-Man. Yeah, like this one. New stories based on the hit TV show. The Adventures of Spider-Man number four. The Adventures of Spider-Man number four. Now, that's an interesting cover because we got a downward shot but slightly askew. And so they're coming up at the camera while the camera is going down toward. It's weird. Yeah. All right. So the Superior Foes of Spider Man, number five. Yeah, that was the new vulture. Yeah. Um, we got what, Boomerang, Shocker, Beetle. I think no that's a... Spider Man. Yeah, no Spider Man on that cover. <laughs> but it wasn't about Spider Man. It was about, it was about the Superior it was about the Foes. foes. All right. Although Spider Man's name's on it. <laughs> the Superior Spider, the Superior Foes of Spider Man number 14. Um, that's a stupid cover. I, I don't like it. It it's doesn't boring. it doesn't make any sense to me. They're sitting on top, they're sitting around and on top of a van. Oh uh, yeah. But these two look like they're trying to reenact dirty dancing. Really? Look at the lift scene. He's getting ready to catch him and lift him. Who, who were they superior to, though? <laughs> this, this, um, this, this cover. I'm disappointed they didn't get the dog to do the middle finger. The superior supposed to Spider Man, Spider Man, number fifteen, where everybody did the middle finger, but it's nicely blocked, it's covered up by a convenient sign. Yeah. Who were they superior to, though? That's the point. Nobody. They they were superior to nobody. This this. I don't even know why this comic exists. It's because they're the only Spider-Man villain. They're not. They're not even the A-list. The only good guy on that cover is the Corgi. And it's funny because this guy becomes a good this th this guy becomes a good guy right there. <laughs> well, sort of. All right, let's get to some better Spider-Man covers. <laughs> <laughs> He's just <laughs> um, Marvel Tell starring Spider-Man and Havoc, number two hundred five. The mediocre, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the mediocre foes of Spider Man. Um, I, I kind of like this cover between the Pharaoh and the Force. Yeah, Spider Man's getting beat. Oh, yeah. Havoc was the bad guy, wasn't he, at this time? Maybe. Or maybe he just didn't like Spider Man. Uh, Marvel Tales, <laughs> uh, starring Spider Man with Tarantula, number 210. Tarantula guy. <laughs> this oh. dude walked around with. Uh, with Little pointy sticks on his toes. How is that a power? He he could kick people and stab them with his toes. Yeah, so can elves. And so can my dad. <laughs> uh <laughs> he's facing Dr. Dorcas. Seriously, there's a Dr. Dorcas. <laughs> Forget Doc Ock. Mar Marvel tells Spider-Man and Namor face Dr. Dorcas. 
And plus, how does Spider Man's Spider Sense actually work? You know, 249. Done, done, done. <coughs> Where is Spider Man hanging from? And why are they parallel to the water? Who flies upside down parallel to the water? Anymore. O- only, only when he's posing for cameras. <laughs> See, Spider Man, he kind of breaks the fourth wall a little bit every now and then. Well, not really. Be- because he knows the camera's there. He no, was- Spider Man was never somebody who like knew no, about the fourth wall. He didn't talk to the characters. No, but he looked at the camera because he knew it was there. He, he, he's the one who put it there. He, well, you know, I don't know if this is actual a reprint. And he did have poison. That's true. He was really, he was fast and strong for a human. He wasn't super powered. But this is printed in 1988. You know, considering he worked at the Daily Bugle. Yes, I got where you go. Yeah. This. yeah. All right. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Tarantula was no pushover. He, he really could fight, but it was just silly to me. <laughs> Wasn't he French? It was like a Frenchman, too. Oh, the Havoc one? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe. This one's actually from 1987, so I don't think that that one... But I don't know. We'll have to look. Uh, Spider-Woman. The Last Days of Spider-Woman number 10. Um, With the chainsaw. Look at the chainsaw. It's not focusing right. It's not, yeah. That's a blurry chainsaw. <laughs> I haven't read a lot of Marvel Tales. Um, I know they're not the team up, but they might be. Is Marvel Tales all reprints of older issues? I buy a lot of comics, and I don't even know. Um, but you, you're probably right. Uh, Untold Tales of Spider-Man number seven. Untold Tales of Spider-Man number eight. Wait, if they're Untold Tales, how are they being told? They were untold up to this point. Uh, So I don't remember hearing anything about the Untold Tales either. What year are these from? Not today, but within the last month. We've just had them stacked over to the side. We haven't been able to. uh, We like to show them before I sort them and scan them and put them away and read them. i got to read them, too. Um, Yeah, but it's a lot easier. 1996. Yeah, these are within the last month or so that we've had these. All right, Spider Man 2099, number 32. Yeah, but once you have it all cataloged, it's a, it's a lot easier to read a series. Yeah, once we get them cataloged, then we got to go through and resort them into their series. Different boxes. Binding. Got a lot of work. We're basically going to run a comic book. No. Off, but um, not sell anything. We are not all Marvel. <clears throat> In fact, I think this bin was all Marvel. <laughs> I think this bin was all Marvel. I read I read a lot of DC. Um, I'm mostly team. So I read, you know, Justice League, Justice League Odyssey, Justice League Dark right now. Um, I was collecting Red Hood and the Outlaws, um, things of that sort, Titans. So. There's like 30 just different variations of the Justice League. And then I pick up, I pick up Indies too. So right now I'm collecting, uh, uh, Once in Future, uh, Something Killed the Children, um, Something is Killing the Children. Of course. I collect, uh, <laughs> I like uh, God, oh, God, I forgot the name of it now, uh, Red Rednecks, a lot of different indies as well. Rednecks, that's the name of the book. Uh, Malibu Comics. <laughs> Here's another uh, non-big two, Malibu Comics, Prime. And then we're back to Marvel. Okay. So, um, <laughs> Warlock and the Infinity Watch, number 25. Thor and these weird, like, handcuffs. Yeah, it looks like he had his hands chopped off, and he got little nubs put on. 
No, that's so he can better punch walls down. Come on. Thor, the nub guy. And we got Adam Warlock and Thanos standing over the top of him. From 1994. And this is an interesting... This is one of those uh, covers <laughs> that does this kind of... Weird nonsense. Weird stuff. That's mind-bending. Oh, I'm framed. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you fit right in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, Warlock in the Infinity Watch number 26. It looks like Atlas in the back there. It looks like the Avengers. Um, no, no, that's that's Giant Man. That's Pimp. 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 I cannot talk tonight. He's just pimp. 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 It's Pimp in the back. <laughs> so that's Black Widow. Hercules. Thor. Right, Thunderstrike. And they're fighting uh, Adam Warlock. All right. So Warlock in the Infinity Watch. What the crap happened to Drax? Number 27. <laughs> um, <laughs> so look look at that face back there. Look at what is going on with his face. No. Um, Warlock in the Infinity Watch, number 28. Uh, Moon Dragon turns into a werewolf. That's my guess. It's a man beast. No, it's man beast. It's a man beast. Is there a big difference between lycanthropy? It could have been woman beast, but we're not politically correct back then. It could have been thing beast. All right, Warlock and Infinity Watch number 30. Swamp Thing. There you go. Now you get a new comic. Demons. There's Gamora, Drax, Moon Moon Dragon. And who's that dude way in the back? I don't know who that is. Yeah. I don't know who that is either, but he looks a little messed up. Who's doing the art on me? That's just... Patrick Olifi, Jim Starlin, Adam Warlock. He's kissing like everybody. All right. <laughs> True. Um, the other one. Nope. Next one. How did you know? Come on, Dad, I can count. Uh, or you just keep track of all the boobs. Yes, 100%. <laughs> uh, Warlock in the Infinity Watch, number 34. Yeah, uh, Jay here knew exactly which one because he was planning to read it later. <laughs> Warlock in the Infinity Watch. He's like, it's a pretty good series. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the art. The art's great. <laughs> I just I just read it for the covers. Oh... Uh... Yeah, there's some shadow on those two. All right. <coughs> Black Axe number one. I have not heard of Black Axe. I've heard of Death Head, which is also on the cover, but I've not heard of Black Axe is, number one. He's slowing, that, he's slowing that pronunciation down. <laughs> Wolfpack number eight. Who is that? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, no Hellstrom Children at Play. This is a creepy, creepy cover. You want to join me? And, and do, do you see a shadow to do with the trident or pitchfork? No, it's Aquaman. <laughs> it could be. All right, uh, XSC number three Bishop and his sister shard. Yeah, Aquaman is just Pied Pipering all the kids to go. <laughs> Two are cracking yourselves up. All right. Rise of the Midnight Sun's Dark Hold. That's a weird cover, right? There's a bonus poster. And there's a po I feel you can feel like there's extra. Maybe, I think there's a poster in there. It's a poster. All right, uh, Rise of the Midnight Sun, number 28, Ghost Rider. Oh, wow, that's uh, a, a title. Sorry, don't don't pay attention to me. <laughs> My goodness. Somebody's reading ahead. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen a, a Ghost Rider comic. But then again, I haven't been really. Been All before. right. <clears throat> the title of the week. Marvel Comic presents The Venge Vengeance, The Destroyer, Shanghai, New Warriors, Midnight Suns. Number 
one fifty six. Wow, that's a long time to have a serious huddle that long. And the good news is, I have no idea who either one of these are. So you don't have to pronounce that comic name ever again. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's interesting enough. Let's do a review of it. Find out. Do yep, you, this is gonna have to you go. You messed up X Force and X Factor. I How did. do you think you're gonna do this? Let, let, let me start it again. <laughs> this is a unique title that doesn't sound like any Marvel. Other X-Men. Marvel Comics presents Vengeance the Destroyer, Shanghai New Warriors, Midnight Suns, issue 156. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to have to put that on the pool list. We're going to have to do a review of that. Jay, you're on that. All right. <laughs> so here's ones that... What does that have a dude's face? You don't know who that is? Will Shatner. Oh, no. Yeah, Star Trek. Will Shatner wrote uh, did Tech, he Tech, did. World. Tech, World. Tech World. He also started a series on TV that was multiple different science fiction shows that would air at, at the same time on that whatever that show was. And so they had different, like this time was this time. And then next week would be this show. And next week would be that show. And then it would rotate. And one of the ones he did was tech world. <laughs> okay. And then I they made it so. into the comic book. Yep. Yeah, let me see. What would the abbreviation of that be? MCP VTD SNH midnight. So- um, Marvel comic presents this. Okay. <laughs> So, <laughs> abbreviation. So, here is Tech World. <laughs> um, I guess we kind of have to read these because I say I do. But I literally have zero interest in this. If there is somebody out there that Who's wants to collect tech world. tech world, William Shatner's Tech World, <coughs> please let me know and we can work. Like any shatty nights out there. <laughs> Work out a deal. A shatty night? Yeah. You know what that sounds like? I know. <laughs> Is there any shatty nights out there that like to collect Shatner? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Okay. I didn't say where they were smart for the name. All right. Put these back and get another set. And then we get on. Okay. So we had a couple of things. We had some. Uh, we're going to cover one movie Next year. that's coming out and oh, one comic book that's coming out. Well, uh, E here does his the only thing he does his one job his one job for this whole thing. Nobody wants chat themselves at all, um, <laughs> because uh, I mean, really, after after Star Wars in the sixties, that was it. I didn't like much of anything else he did. Star Trek, Star Trek. All right. Um, so Wonder Woman nineteen eighty four the uh, the trailer just dropped. We watched it. I think I like it. I, I think I like. I, it, it, yeah, the nostalgia thing is kind of over the top um, because we, we get it. We seem to get it all Everyone's the time now with Stranger Things. with everything. Uh, um, so I'm tired of you know. But it looks cool. Lassoing lightning. That yeah, that, 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 that looked cool. Lightning. She hit somebody with the lasso, whipped it around, and shot it forward and knocked a guy. Back, I liked that. So she fired a brace, uh, a bullet with her bracelet. Well, she, yeah, she racked it and then slapped it with the bracelet, and shot it at somebody. It looked cool. Okay, I like it. I like it. I'm getting tired of the '80s. <laughs> you were. I haven't even seen the '80s, so I love the nostalgia. <laughs> <laughs> so we have we had a little discussion here between the three of us. Um. I like the 80s because I remember the 80s. I grew up in the 80s. Um, so I kind of like, I, I recognize the things. I, I see the things. Oh, that's that cool. That's cool. Giant um, balls. He did not grow up in the 80s. And if, if that's all the. If I it, didn't grow up in the 80s, no. If that's all the movie has is, oh, look, the 80s, I'm not going to be interested in it, you know? We're going to go see it. Yeah. And yeah. the reason is. Hopefully it has more than just the 80s. The person that likes the 80s. Pays for the movies. <laughs> well, that's not that's not entirely fair. If we go, will you will you have me pay for you? If if you offer, I will take it. You will you will have me pay you, and then I'll buy you drinks and stuff. That's how it works. <laughs> um, and then so I kind of liked it. I saw the I saw we saw the the preview. We kind of really liked it. I really liked it. He is an and okay. Maybe we have a theory. The, Jay, there's cleavage. Uh, yeah, they Steve Rogers. Just uh. 
it, it, it's, it's uh, Steve Rogers, Wonder Woman's boyfriend. Now that was kind of stupid. I don't know yeah. why he's. I don't know why he's there. So we'll we'll see about that. All right. So the comic new series coming up was just announced: Hellions with uh, <clears throat> Havoc and Psylocke, or Hell Ions. No, Feral. It's, it's Hellions. Feral, um, Nanny, Orphan Maker, Sinister, Scalp Hunter, and Empath. And is this supposed to be a bad guy I think it was book empath. or a good guy book? I, I don't care. It, if it's if it's if it's supposed to be led by Sinister, it's a bad guy book. Yeah. Ancestor <laughs> the first yeah. Um but yeah, I mean with with Hellions, uh I, I don't it seems to me like they're trying to monopolize monopolize on the the how good the X Men is doing right now, instead of just making sure the X Men stay good. Oh, you guys like the X Men? Here, have some X Men. Let's <coughs> over X Men everything. I it's, I think they're gonna I think they're gonna oversaturate the market, and people are gonna just be like, I'm done. Boom, done. I've already dropped Excalibur, and I've dropped New Mutants, and Marauders is almost out the door. So I'm gonna be picking up Wolverine, but that's the only one I can see coming up that I even like. So we'll see. All right. Anything else you want to say on those topics? No. Nope, uh, yeah, it's there's too many, and and when it's like four or five dollars a book, it's too many, and especially when it's not something people ask for. Yeah. It's like dumping an entire bottle of salt on your rice. Yeah, exactly. Sound good. Yeah, I mean the the House of X, Powers of X was really good. I dropped X Men a while ago, um, and I didn't pick it back up because. It was my one of my first books ever. I loved the X Men, but something just they just went they just went crazy. Um, and then Rosenberg took Rosenberg took over, and it just uh, um, <coughs> and then Hickman took over, and I was like, okay, I'll give it a chance, and it was good. I really enjoyed it. But now they're starting to overdo it. There's too much. Um, just stick with a good product for a while. And yes, the books should cost less. I don't need them on glossy, all this kind of stuff. I I buy them to read them. Give me a newsprint. Give me a newsprint book. I'll read it. I'll put it in a sleeve because I don't want it torn up, and I'll read it again later. And, and I'll give it to my kids to read. Now that you know, seven dollar books, man. I I can't afford it. And what Wolverine's going to be seven ninety nine? Seven ninety nine. That's two books. <clears throat> it's ridiculous. All right. Go back to Comic Con. All right. Because <laughs> I'm just going to get irritated. Back um, to thirty cent comics. <laughs> Agent, yeah, fifty cent comics. That what that's what we're covering tonight. <laughs> um, Agents of Atlas Dark Reign Variant Edition number three. Okay. Um. <coughs> There's a Grella in the background. I. That's all he has to say. I, I choose to believe like they're like super capitalist. What well, superheroes? He is actually becomes an agent of Wakanda. Oh, uh, uh, interesting. Clarion. Clarion. Issue number two. Um, Nocenti. Uh, look at that. Okay. I don't know who Clarion is, honestly. I don't I don't recognize this title. Again, it could be Clar Ion. It is not. Um, okay. <laughs> but I recognize the name Nocenti. And it's empty, yes. She's a great writer. Um Hmm. This looks like it's down your alley, though, Jay. Probably. I mean, it doesn't look bad. The art's, the art's not bad either. What? All right. No spoilers. No spoilers. Clarion the Witch Boy is from the Demon. Yes. That's <laughs> probably who it is. Oh, uh, yep. It, you can definitely see it on this cover. I couldn't tell from this cover. Um,. We have another one. Number three. <laughs> That's a cover. That's a cover. Um, <clears throat> Image Comics. The re they they ain't role models. The regulators. What? The regulators. Um, number two. Sleepwalker number two. This it, this is funny because this dude only got powers when he fell asleep. 
and then you have a guy with an eight ball on his head. He's magic. <laughs> this calls for you. He can only <laughs> say yes, no, or maybe. <laughs> you shake his head. <laughs> um, Sleepwalker number three. Indecisive. <laughs> um, a lot of people coming for him. Great way to live your life. <laughs> Sleepwalker number seven. Does he ever fight Nightmare? Because that would be an interesting battle. I don't know. Maybe. Um, the only battle in the dream state. Sleepwalker number nine. She's lovely. She's lethal. Runway model. Uh, Sleepwalker 14. Color blindness. Um, the color of pain. My goodness. So I think he does actually fight Nightmare. That's what uh, Grandma said. So maybe one of these we have, he actually does. Um, number 17. It's start that guest starring Darkhawk and Spider Man. And Spider Man 2. Just as an afterthought. <laughs> well, since it's his dreams, he can probably just do anything he wants. Yeah, there's a lot of guys with spherical heads. It's like weird. Uh, Sleepwalker number twenty. Um, X Men and the Clandestine. The Clandestine. I don't know who those people are. Number two. Well, that's probably the point of their name. They're clandestine. <laughs> uh, <coughs> so it looks pretty cool. Hmm. All right. Uh, Nightcrawler, number 12. That looks pretty cool. That's a good looking cover. Hmm, yeah. I think Night Nightcrawler is a cool hero. I'd love to see if we can find. Yeah, some Nightcrawler orphans. doesn't. Hulked out heroes. So basically, superheroes on roids. One of two. It's roid, yeah. roided out heroes. Superheroes on gamma rays. <laughs> and then we got hulked out heroes, <laughs> two of two. And I love how Bucky just looks normal. But Bucky, <laughs> Hawkeye. He doesn't. I mean, he's got some big arms. He's got big arms, but he's like Popeye. And then Billy the Kid with Wild oh, Captain America looks pretty much the same. There's a and there's a random pirate over here. All right. <laughs> Hulked out heroes two of two. That said, uh, Hulk out devil dinosaur is pretty dope. Now this is a great looking cover. Black Knight. Black Knight number four. I, I really do like that cover. It looks like <clears> a. <throat> All right, that, that's cool. Last year, when, minimized. When, when did that come out? You know? Uh, no, I'll find out. Uh, apparently, I have another clandestine, so that's going into the uh, extra pile. It goes into that duplicate pile. Top shelf, middle. Gotcha. Uh, Shadow of the Batman, number 17. If you want the extra X Men in clandestine, you could win it in a raffle. <laughs> One day we are going to have another raffle when we hit 200. Careful and incentives, you don't want to get it back off of them. We'll, we'll be giving stuff out in a way. Shadow of the Batman, the Tally Man, the Tally Man, Tally Me. All right, uh, June this 2010. Was, yeah, the the date is all the way in the back for some reason. <laughs> this is why Google's a very helpful. This comic's nine years old. How about that? Almost 10, dude. It's crazy. Guys, we're going back to the 20s. <laughs> yeah, let's go to the roaring 20s. Woo. <laughs> um, Xenoscope, Realms of War, Age, Age of, of Darkness. Darkness. That looks interesting, actually. It kind of does. I have no idea. I, I have to stay away from a lot of Xenoscope comics because the... their cover's not super decent. Oh, they like to ve very much sexualize women on the covers. This actually looks pretty cool, too. 1872. 1872. 
I, I would number read, three. Look, that looks like a steam powered Iron Man. I, that would, looks, I would read with fantasy flame superheroes. Power. I would read uh, Wild West people's... superheroes, steampunk superheroes. Yeah, look at that. That looks da, really da, cool. Da, 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 da. Charleston time. Yeah, that I like that. I like how that looks. All right, so that's yeah. I gotta find more of these. This is an old prospector <clears throat> with a beard in there. See, Dugan is writing it, and right now Dugan is a solid writer for me. He's solid. His stuff are not. It's not way up here, but it, and his stuff is not bad. It's just like he's a solid. He hits steady, and it's been really pretty good. Reliable. Uh, reliable. So I, I mean, I like fantastic stories, but here. All right. I mean, back in the box. Grab another set. And while we're waiting for the young man to do his job, where he is very slow at it, yes. we will then cover our next subject. Another trailer dropped. Yeah. For another chick flick. No, it's just uh, a flick with a chick. Uh, Black Widow. Yes. Um, I really liked the. I really liked the trailer. I did too. Um, Ooh. like. And then it made it, they made a good trailer where it's enough to get you interested, but it doesn't really tell you where the story is going. Yep, and I've heard a lot of a lot of people go, eh, "It's she just a, a it's just another Captain America." I well, if it is cool, I enjoyed Captain it, America. It did well, didn't it? <laughs> yes. Um, and I like the big fat Russian in the red yes. suit. Uh, well, I like nice. the Red Guardian. Looks red cool Guardian. because it looks like he lost weight. Or gained weight. He's retired, gained weight, and, and but he's still when he stands in the mirror and flag, it's like and his still beard. <laughs> and he, boom, I love it. I love it. I think it's gonna be fantastic when she jumps out of the helicopter. I don't care. Look cool. I wonder if we're get, uh, get it, gonna get any more surprise Russian uh, superheroes. I hope so. Like Dark Star, yeah, uh, or the Bear, the Ursa, bear. Ursa Major. I want to see it. I, this would be awesome. Uh, and I don't care yeah. if she's in a white suit either. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Don't care. Um. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would not. Now, listen. If I saw Red Guardian standing in front of me, I wouldn't fight him. I'd be like, "Dude, you got it." I've seen Russian slap fights. I, <laughs> I'm not something I want to be involved <laughs> no. in. Hammer sickle. Uh, I don't know. I, Hammer sickle is that DC? I'll find out. I don't remember. I do remember there was a brother and sister. I think it was Vanguard and Dark Star were brother and sister. I think that's who it was. Then there was uh, Ursa Major. There was Red Dynamo. Which was like their Iron Man. Um, DC, I want to say, yeah. Yeah, Hammer Sickles, DC. Um, but Black Widow is on the list to watch. Um, old man, the boomer likes it. Yeah. The almost millennial, probably Gen Z likes it, and the kid likes it. Billy the kid. The E the kid. Kitty. Uh, and, and you know, I've heard right. a lot of people say it's too late, but I think I, Vanguard I did think have so. a hammer. Google. Yes. Let me get right on this. I think Vanguard had a hammer. I don't remember if he had a sickle. We will find out. We are here to do the research. If I can spell. Marvel. 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 Maybe I'll let you know. Well, I know he had a hammer. I've seen that quick picture. He definitely had a hammer. I don't remember if he had a I don't remember if he had a sickle or not. Um, but the dark dimension was, I mean, dark star was with the dark dimension. There's a lot of different plots that we could go into here. That'd be very cool. Um, the whole, the whole Russian team. Yes. He does have a hammer and sickle. He has a sickle too. Mm -hmm. All right. So he does have a sickle as well. So confirmed. Is, Great man. You got is it. Radioactive man. Part of that team. No, I don't think so. I think radioactive man was Chinese. And then he came to America and he joined Thunderbolts. Um, yeah, I could have sworn there was a. Right, and then now that was that's the second trailer. Yeah. Um, that that is a definite. We're gonna watch Black Widow. Um, Jay will go, Jay will go watch Wonder Woman if I pay. <laughs> he will he will he's he's gonna watch both because I'm the boss. Just along for the ride. <clears throat> he doesn't get a choice. We're going to go do it. He's like, cool. I don't have to do chores. I'm at the movies. All right. So the uh, next comic book series. Yeah, there might there might be, I don't. We have Slavic Thor variant for Russia. Um, I'll find out. There's also a whole Russian team, like a whole Russian Avenger team. 
So there's another new comic series coming out called Strange Academy. Now, in my opinion, this is Marvel Hogwarts. I think it has potential to be okay, but it's definitely not for my age group. It, it can either be good. Perun is his name. Or it could be really bad. Pull up Perun's picture. Yeah, I got it. You got oh, it. Let me see a picture. Yeah, I mean, come on. That, if I remember correctly, uh, he is. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That that is a literal Slavic god. Yeah. So. That's cool. He's got a good thing of chest hair. <laughs> It, it, it wouldn't make sense that they used Perrin or Perun as have you as Have you seen Thor. Um, the Russian superhero movie where the guy that controlled the stone, the girl that turned invisible, yeah, the dude that had that. the, the uh, sickle blades and like teleported and stuff like that? Yeah, no, and I then saw, the, I saw the bear it. man. Yeah. That, I, well, I don't know if anybody watching has seen it, but that was a pretty cool movie. Um, can't remember what it was called. Nope. Can't remember what it's called. I have to go look. Guardians or something like that. It may have been Guardians. <laughs> But that was it. But Strange Academy, back on Strange Academy. I, I think it has potential to be okay. I don't think it's going to be something I would enjoy. I think it has potential to be something I could read and go, yeah. okay, it's cool. But I don't know. It, it I'm, I'm going to give it a try, but I'll receive. It depends on where they take it. Like if they do like a Magic X Men, for example, that could be awesome. If they just focus, oh, yeah, it's Hogwarts, then it's like, yeah, I'm not interested. Just go and don't, don't mess with toilets. Yeah, yeah, it's the Guardians. Yep. Yeah, I don't want to see. I don't want to see a school show. That that's about kids going, going on dates and how yeah. mean their teacher is. And I want to see kids learn to do magic and mess up, get into consequences, mess up big time. Things like, go bad, and then they have to learn to get out of it. And they and with maybe some of the helps of the teachers to fix it, and they learned a life lesson from it. Like bring Jamal that's what I would like. <laughs> no, that's totally you. I'm with you on that. He's like, well, for my science fair project, I'll bring to Mama Moo back. <laughs> to Mama Moo. <laughs> uh, there's Deadly Class, which is like an assassin one, and that one's okay because it's more about kids going out and killing other people, and there's a lot of brutality in that. That's probably what I remember. All right, so. <laughs> <coughs> But I mean, Harry Potter did well, so um, you know it could it could do well. So here is uh, 1872 number four. Again, that looks really pretty cool. All I hear is like old timey saloon bar music. <laughs> I, I hear fire crackling and Indian yelling. Right. No, the yeah. Indian started the fire. He has the giant tiki thing. Towards seeing him. seeing this. <laughs> it, it makes me sad that this? We, uh yeah that we don't have <laughs> X-Men guy. that we don't have the X-Men 2099 for example uh for after House of X. Um of all the of all the X-Men comics we're getting right now, the one that I, I would have liked to see is the Chimeras. And that's not what we're getting. I would have liked to see the Chimeras. You know the, the story of how the Chimeras are created or the Chimeras are shunted off into the universe somewhere and doing something. I mean, so it would have been cool to see the chimeras in action. Yeah, we saw very little of the chimeras, and it was a cool concept. But it kind of, I don't. Maybe he's gonna get there. I don't know. Maybe. Um, X Men twenty ninety nine. One of them will die, and they're all looking at somebody else. Like, is it you? It's cut into t puzzle pieces. Uh, GI Joe number one, <laughs> based on the awesome movie. Um. Yeah, based on the answer. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, comic collector. How you, how's it going? Welcome. So, G.I. Joe number one. They drew the rock. Um, yeah, G.I. Joe number two. Uh, the Rock. I mean, they could have gotten the picture. Oh. oh well. how, how many comics is in this prequel? Because that, that could be a thing we do. G.I. Joe number three. Can comic. We could do a series on G.I. Joe comics and then watch the movie again. I can see it. You see, this guy, he doesn't talk. <laughs> Isn't Snake Eyes uh, dead right now, anyway? I have no idea. I think Snake Eyes is dead in the comics, and they have like a, a girl Snake Eyes now. I've not, I don't know. I don't I've read enough G.I. Joe up. comics. All right. Full killer. If that's not that's not necessary. Does he kill 
He killed fools. All right, number nine. <laughs> I I would have rather seen oh, Mr. T. T. That would have been cool. Mr. T in there. That would have been great. You, fool. All right. Ultra Force, one of the best covers ever. It took so, cover, yeah. so little work. It, it looks like that's something they put in X Factor. Now, when when 9 11 happened, when 9 yes. 11 happened, Spider Amazing Spider Man Truskinskis did this. Um, they they had a black cover, and that was that that was very cool. I have that comic somewhere, but this I don't I don't know why it's like that. Okay, let's find out. It says black. They don't feel bad for making fun of it. Um, <laughs> it, says, it says black September, nineteen ninety five. Yeah, no, it has no reason. All right. Well, maybe they're remembering nine eleven because it is it is September before it happens. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, well, that's yeah, true. It would. It is 1995, so it would have been before. All right. So, yep. Yeah, no reason. All right. All right. Superman Unchained, number one, with Scott Snyder, and uh, a pity fool. A pity fool. Remember the cartoon, the Mr. T cartoon? <laughs> that was great. All right. That should be on Disney Plus. <laughs> Superman Unchained, Scott Scott Snyder, Jim Lee. Disney start working on it. This was actually I I loved the art in this book. Well, yeah, it's Jim Lee, uh, and it was so much better than the Bendis run. All right, did, did they really make a comic out of out of um what's his name? It's it's the funny pages. Uh, Sad Sergeant, Sad Sack, and the Sergeant. All right, so this is Sad Sack and the Sergeant number sixty five. From nineteen very funny nineteen sixty seven. No, that is a like those are characters in a an actual comic in, in the news. This was on a Sunday, page. like a Sunday's comic strip. I forget, I forget the title of the, um, of the novel. Harvey page. Comics, December, December, uh, nineteen sixty seven. Wow, and it actually looks like it's just reprinted. Yeah, yeah that's probably what it's it just is. reprinted Sunday strips. It's. <laughs> And so it's the sad sack and the sergeant, and then there's uh Mutsy, the dog, the canine dog. Wait, aren't all dogs canine? Yeah, this is an oldie. Um, sometimes you get some old ones just in the box that you bought. Um, that's cool. And it's not in that bad condition, honestly. All right, yeah. I just don't know if it's worth anything. Um He's like, no. It's like six bucks. Well, six bucks is worth some money. Yeah, the old ads are cool. You can almost pay for a Wolverine comic. I love. I, <laughs> I would. I, yeah, I'd almost buy the new Wolverine comic. I would love to see. You know, like some of the ads in there where it says you can apply and win. I yes. want. I just want to send the thing in to see if I can win the bike. All right. Uh, I, I was looking at those with with uh, Thor comic I reviewed, and it's just they were old and. Yeah, there's some that's like send in your art, and every one in five will get to draw a comic. Oh, for it, was, it, it was um, it was it was X, it was X Factor number two right over there that they had an ad for come join Captain America on on stage at Broadway. Send in your uh, auditions now. You wouldn't want to let like, Cap down. Nice. You get, right. to, you get to go to Broadway. Shadow Man <laughs> from Valiant, number one. Except they're looking specifically for girls from 10 to 14, so unfortunately. Valiant, Shadow Man, number one. All right. I thought you were going with like, Back. unfortunately, only you can do it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're off track. Back off track again um, with the dad jokes. All right. Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man, number 11, 1977. That's Medusa there. That's grabbing him with her hair. And he is grabbing the, he's trying to save all those people on the roller coaster. That's a weird Spidey thing. battles the most uncanny and human of, for the highest sake of all. Huh. Why was she called Medusa? Because <coughs> her hair. Her she hair. controls her hair. And Medusa has the snake living hair thing. That's all right. Little... Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider Man, number 28. Number 28. The spectacular Spider-Man. says, uh, your spider powers can't save you from Karen. Carrion. What the? Milgram. Why is, nice. Why is why does Spider-Man even wear a mask? Because all of his bad guys know who he is. Um, Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider-Man, number 35. 
Who dares enter the labyrinth? Because everyone knows he's Parker. Well, they do now because his name's on the title of the book. Yeah. Well, if only they could read it. <laughs> All right. And then Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider-Man number 44. Somebody is killing them all. It looks like a uh, Star Wars thing at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. It's just some, some kind of alien creature down here. All right. all right. Somebody decided to get cute with this cover. Peter Peter, Peter Parker, the Spectac slash 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 Spider-Man. It's hard to read. All right, number 77. Goodness. From 1982. Um. This dude is big with a metal helmet and spinning whirls of blades on his. He's got table wrists. saws. On his yeah, arms. you know that that's that's his power set. Is that he has table saws. He has <laughs> table saws on his arms. Can you imagine having to go to the bathroom? <laughs> uh, Peter Parker, spectacular Spider-Man number ninety-four. I don't know how he's still. Nice he's cloak still and dagger and. The symbiote Spider-Man. Look at that. That's cool. <laughs> Is that his name, Grandman? The the Gladiator. I would not. That that makes sense. I mean, he took some saws to his wrist. So. Oh, this is a dupe too, but this is a much better copy of it. All right. The spectacular Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider-Man, <clears throat> number ninety-nine. I'd hate to fight someone like that. Who can just Swiss cheese the entire world? He's fighting the Dalmatian. Mm. I that's the his name is Dalmatian. Yeah. Is his limit only one hundred and one black no holes? One hundred and one black holes. I have no idea. All right, so I do have a better. I have a another copy of this, but this one's a much better copy. Um, Buckler, the Peter Parker Spectacular Spider Man number one hundred three. I believe this is Peter David's first issue. On uh, spectacular, spectacular Spider Man. Uh, Peter Parker turned blue face. Uh, uh, two face. <laughs> two face. <laughs> Peter Parker became two face, and that's not. That's just an effigy. All right. Uh, the all new. Okay. And the tiding. The title then gets longer. Yes. The all new, all daring Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider Man, number one nineteen. He is battling saber two. He is Johnny. <laughs> that looks like that, doesn't it? Yeah. From the Shining. Red rum, red rum. All right. Which reminds me, we need to watch the new movie. It was always interesting, which is on. Yeah, yeah we have it. Which is always it's always interesting on how in spectacular side of the kit swapping back and forth between the the black suit and the red suit. Um, but the all new, all daring Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider-Man Spider Man number one fourteen. Um, <laughs> Peter's uh, Spider Man runs up a building. That yeah, is what the that the is that's the, the whole comic. You heard it's all it's about. He's wall runner. I'm pretty sure that's a uh, Titan Fall, right? All right, then uh, then we go back to Peter Parker Spider Man number ninety seven. Shock follows shock. Looks like they're both in the hands of somebody else, and that is uh, definitely a John Ramada Junior cover. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. Uh, Sal Buscema. Nice. Shiny cover. Yeah, and uh, the Spectacular Spider-Man number 200. I like this goblin. Like This is my favorite goblin. The the old school hobgoblin? Oh, yeah. Throwing pumpkins? Yes, riding the glider. Yeah, the new, the new goblin. They just try to make him bigger and stronger. Web of Spider-Man number 95. We've got Venom and Ghost Rider on the cover. <laughs> The only problem I have with this is Spider-Man is the smallest dude on the cover. Um, spe the spectacular Spider-Man, number 206, Salvo Sima cover. Uh, Tombstone. Killed Spider-Man. Killed Spider-Man and demasked him. Well, that's what exactly. you get. Exactly. Demasked. That, that's that's what you get when, when you eat bad, bad pizza. <laughs> 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 Oh, there's goblin, hobgoblin, red goblin, little red goblin, carnage eyes goblin, little red carnage eyes goblin, ha hairy goblin, or is it 
Harry the Goblin. I don't know. There's a lot. Uh, Harry Goblin. Um, <laughs> the foreigner's going to get help from the spectacular Spider-Man number 209. Yeah. The foreigner looks a lot like um, Punisher. Punisher, yeah. Hmm. I wonder if they're related. Mm, twin brothers? Or is it clones? Right. That's the cover. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is this is going to be a very sensitive topic. Uh, yeah, there was the demi goblin. Yes, this is a very t- sensitive topic. We want to cover it with. Some... Uh, I got the list of goblins. Um, do you really? Uh, yeah. All right, we'll, we'll read them off real okay. quick. Okay, we got um, green goblin, hobgoblin, demi goblin, proto goblin, gray goblin, and red goblin. And carnage guys goblin and little red goblin. You forgot because Harry's son came became a goblin. That list is outdated. All right. Yes. Spectacular Spider-Man number 228. It looks like Peter Parker is pulling Mary Jane's hair and like he's about to punch her in the face. Now, Time Bomb, was that the co- was that the, the run where they kind of read it um Gwen Stacy's death? I don't know. But Peter looks really mad at Mary Jane. Uh, granted, Mary Jane does look like she has talons. Look at those nails. Look how long those nails are. That's crazy. All right. Two-faced goblin. Go, to, go, go ahead and update Wiki while you're in there. All right. The Spectacular Spider-Man number 230. Um, Basima did the cover on this, and he looks like he's getting slimed by a slimed, sliming slime monster. Um, the Return of Kane, Spectacular Spider-Man, number 231. Yeah. We, uh, there's and a lot of Spider-Man in this one. Last one for tonight. Right? Yeah. right. What's all those? I don't know. No. Yeah, it, something's up with Peter in that one. I don't yeah, know what it is. Time Bomb apparently is about Peter Parker. It's in the middle of the Clone Saga. So he dreams he killed M- MJ. And then he actually becomes kind of like in in a going to kill M- MJ. Because he, he found out he's a clone. He dreamt he was a clone. <coughs> so oh, it's he, not Peter Parker. It's Ben. ben. He, so he, he, start, he starts chasing MJ as like Jason kind of thing. Oh, creepy. Like Michael, like H2O, or uh, Halloween? Yes. Yeah. All right. The Spectacular Spider-Man, number 241. Um, Peter Peter makes up with MJ after the whole incident um, of hair pulling and face smashing. So we now have a makeup. And he takes her on a date by swinging her through town in her pajamas. That does not sound like it'd be comfortable. Actually, the breeze would be amazing. Sure. We're going to leave that right there. I'm not going to touch that one. All right, here. <laughs> Put that away. <clears throat> so that is tonight's show. We have four more short boxes. We've only made it through half this short box. A half that short box and another probably half of a long box. I've got another long box over there. I don't yep. know if we've actually gone through that one yet. Probably not. So we've got a lot that I bought this last month. Don't um, worry. We'll buy more. He knows me. We're, we're trying to get rid of all the old I'm ones. trying to get this cleared out and have it empty before I go buy more because I bought an awful lot and my wife walks in the office and goes, you need another bookcase. And I'm like, it, you're right, it's, I do. It's not going to happen. <laughs> um, no, she's going to go. But, you know, you know, I buy all my new comics every week and I, I actually have to buy more boxes because I'm running out of boxes now. But <clears throat> we appreciate you all coming. Uh, Great man, the comic collector. Rod was here. Uh, we appreciate you all coming and joining us in our – our little hour long show where we have some family fun, the old time, old time comic shop talk, no, um, talk movie, comic movies, comic books coming out and all that new stuff that I picked up because I find it cool and it's fun. And then we get to Google stuff because yeah, there's a lot of stuff. I just yeah. don't know because I, I don't, I, I don't read. I haven't read everything yet. I'm getting there. So I appreciate you guys coming. Um, thanks. Uh, and thanks. And we'll, uh, we'll see you next time here in the long box. Bye. Bye. Night. Watch the movies.